After the rain had been, I noticed the most beautiful rainbow stretching its way across the farm. And I thought, why don't we go around the farm and see what we can find with each colour of the rainbow? The first colour in the rainbow is red. And we're having these juicy, lovely tomatoes for lunch. And I thought I might point out all the little seeds inside the tomato that are just like the ones that we planted. Do you want to come and see the tomatoes that we did plant and find out if they've grown yet? This is the beginning of some of our tomato plants. And when they get a bit bigger, they'll produce juicy, big, red tomatoes. And something that's also red is the quad bike. The rhododendron is producing some red buds just now. And as you can see, they're just coming out now into flower. There are lots of nice red flowers on the farm as well as dockings, which change to red as the time goes by. And let's not forget the cheeky wee red-breasted robin. Lovely. The next colour in the rainbow is orange, just like this lovely piece of agate. It's a special type of rock that's been made by the earth. Another orange thing that we can find in the farm are carrots. Now we haven't actually planted these yet, we're going to plant them in the raised bed over the weekend and as you can see they'll give us nice orange carrots. The beech leaves can look quite orange at the right time of year and we plant marigolds near the vegetable plot. At the moment there is a wasp building a nest inside the shed just now and I thought because we were thinking about the colour yellow we would have a look at it. Come on! Do you remember that Farmer William taught you that the wasp goes about and bites off pieces of dead wood to build a nest with and then he works on the outside and she works on the inside ready for her to lay her special eggs safely inside her nest. There are lots of pretty yellow flowers on the farm. These are some wild yellow poppies. Aren't they pretty? These flowers are called buttercups and it's said that if you hold one under your chin and you see a yellow glow, you like butter. The inside of the daisies are yellow. The primroses are yellow and so are the dandelions. Green is the next colour in the rainbow and as you can see, nature provides us with a whole range of different shades of green. It's so pretty when the light shines through the green leaves onto the forest floor. The grass beneath our feet is full of different greens, as is the moss that you can see here, growing casually on the forest floor. So what makes the green leaves green? Well, it's a thing called chlorophyll and the leaves are full of it. You can see chlorophyll yourself by rubbing leaves on a white piece of paper. This is called vetch and it grows in amongst the grass. So while we're thinking about green, I thought we'd show you some of our vegetables. Some of our French beans and broad beans, runner beans and our peas, which, funnily enough, we're having for tea. The next colour of the rainbow is blue, just like the sky that you can see above us here. This plant is blue and is particularly great for bees and butterflies. There are other blue flowers around the farm, all of them beautiful, very delicate. They're like little trumpets. This is a blue fern. Aren't they just lovely? Nature also gives us lots of blue gemstones, like these turquoise pieces, some agate, some crystals. So I've zoomed in on what I've been watching, which is a blackbird building its nest. I'm going to use my long stick now to hopefully see something special and blue inside. And there it is. The blue egg of a blackbird. Brilliant. 
And let's not forget the beautiful little blue tit that visits the farm garden. The next colour in the rainbow is purple and we've certainly got an abundance of beautiful purple flowers. All sorts of plants have purple leaves. If you look carefully, you might just see them. All different shapes, sizes and shades of purple, like this aquilegia. We've also got some purple seeds that we're going to put in the raised bed. We've got some purple carrots and some purple kale. Which I can also give us some purple gemstones, like these amethysts and geoids. Pink is the next colour of the rainbow and as you can see we've got lots of different pink flowers around the farm. Some wild and some in the garden. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? Nature also makes some beautiful pink gemstones like this geoid, the agate and this is called rose quartz. And don't forget the pink wiggly worms in the mud.